Home Office with the WebEx Room Kit. Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I have here a Home Office setup with a WebEx Room Kit. I wanted to show you how this looks like, how I got there, and especially how it sounds and looks like for the other side. My remote office consists of a WebEx Room Kit device sitting on a 24-inch screen. Um, and I have an Atom Mini connected to it for the USB pass-through case. So I unpacked the device and installed it according to the installation guide which we have online. In this case it is uh, the HDMI connection to the screen directly. I have a network connection to the internet router. I have my Touch 10 connecting into the PoE power adapter and the power adapter connecting into the room kit. Then I yeah, have the power connected of the power adapter into the wall and there's a power supply also coming with a room kit. Then I go ahead and create a activation code. So I log in to settings.webex.com, go to my devices and say add new device. I'll get the registration code and I can use this later on to register the device. After I created an activation code, I take the device, do a factory reset, log into the web interface of the device. It uses the default admin username and password. I create a local administrator account. The guides on how this exactly works can be found on the roomos.cisco.com on the guides and there is a section called creating a local user. You log into the web interface, create your account um, and after you've done that you can register the device via the local web interface with the registration code received from the earlier step. With this the device registers itself and you have a personalized WebEx room kit. If you, if you would like to join conferencing platforms which don't support standard ZIP um, or if they are not supported by WebRTC on the WebEx Room Kit, you can go ahead and install an HDMI capture device. Uh, in my case, I use a Blackmagic Atom Mini. It also helps me to create recordings like this one, um, do picture in pictures and green screen and additional effects that can be useful if you do broadcasting or um, a little bit un advanced a little bit advanced presentations compared to just standard video conferences so i use the at mini and take the second output of the room kit device connect it to the first output in my case of the Atom Mini. I take the audio out of the room kit and connect it into the microphone one of the Atom Mini. Um, the microphone one has to be set to line input because this is a line or it's configured as a line output in my case as well. And then I can use the USB out to connect it to my laptop and there I can, without adding an additional uh, software on my laptop, I can use the Blackmagic device as a webcam in additional web conferences. What I did on top of that was uh, connecting a USB microphone, just because the microphone in uh, my case might help because the room is a little bit larger, it has hard walls and there may be a little bit of echo coming with it. So talking about the microphone setup, so at the moment I have the standard microphone of the room kit on. I can also turn on the noise removal, then the horns and the air conditioning should go away. And then on top of that I can connect uh, this as well so I have slightly better audio quality for the remote participants or for audio recordings. So after the physical installation of the HDMI capture device 
you go ahead and log in to the admin console of the room kit, you deploy the scripts necessary to enable USB pass-through, you enable the main script for USB pass-through. Um, there will be like later versions out in the future where you also have the possibility to set a few configuration parameters in this script so that allow you to set the pin code to um, define the way screen sharing is done um, to have custom panels and so on so quite interesting things are coming up here additionally to the uh, usb pass-through i also deployed the join zoom button so i went and logged on to roomos.cisco.com went to the examples page searched for zoom and i connected my device locally so i say connect use username and password and then it also connects to my local webex room kit what i then did is just like press the install button and automatically it went ahead and deployed all these like join screw scripts on the device itself automatically so very handy i am now set up and can go ahead and join webex meetings most importantly do screen sharing and so on um, i can also join non cisco webex meetings easily and i'm well set up so last but not least why am i doing all of this first of all the quality i want my audience to be able to see me and hear me in the best possible quality and i also would like to see and hear them in the best possible quality peace of mind i don't want to be stressed by the performance of my laptop by pre-meeting challenges i have to select the right microphone the right camera the right speakers in order to hear them in order to be heard to um, mute unmute i don't have to go to a certain application on my laptop to uh, mute myself or unmute myself i'm just much faster much more productive it's much more efficient then it's really easy to use when i want to join a meeting i press one button it's connected to now my webex application and i'm in this meeting reliability it's not something that I have to worry when I edit a Word document, when my laptop crashes, if it does, it just works, it's there, it's reliable and I don't have to worry about it. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope to see you in my next um, episode and yeah, don't forget to subscribe or set the notification button. Thank you very much. Goodbye.